In this video, we will try to introduce very quickly the notion of nonlinear response functions and how they are connected to the polarization induced in a sample, in a molecular sample, in the nonlinear experiment <coughs> by some uh, um, incoming electrical field. So, what we assume here is without uh, detailed justification in this. Uh, video that the polarization that we can induce at particular point R in a sample and at particular point T depends on the state of the molecular system that is sitting at that uh, at that particular uh, spatial uh, location, which uh, we denote by uh, by density matrix. And here I would put the index up sub index r because this really is about a system sitting at this uh, place r and uh, here the other operator or the the polarization is an expectation value of this uh, operator which is called transition transition dipole moment operate operator uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be transition, there is just a dipole moment oper operator. In our case, when we assume molecules having um, zero permanent dipole moments, this will be always a transition dipole moment. So, <clears throat> in order uh, to see how this polarization depends on the incoming field, of the, on the incoming electrical field that excites this system, we have to solve the dynamics uh, of uh, this molecular system sitting in uh, in uh, position uh, in position R. So what is what is the equation of motion for this uh, system or for the state of the system? It's the Liouville von Neumann equation. We'll drop the index R. <coughs> it's the Liouville von Neumann equation, which says that um, the system evolves according to its molecular uh, Hamiltonian, there's a commutator of the Hamiltonian and uh, and the state of the system and here we would have a semi-classical uh, interaction uh, with the electric with the electric field so to be you know to have enough detail it would look some something like this let me put the R here T uh, everything else is also assumed at R and this thing here is a vector. So we will use the uh, Liouville uh, notation. So this is Liouville von Neumann equation and further we will rewrite that in, in Liouville formalism Liouville or uh, super operator, super operator formalism, and in that, in this formalism, we say well whenever there is a commutator of let's say Hamiltonian with an arbitrary operator a, let's say one over h bar by commutator we will denote this by some Liouville operator Liouville super operator acting on a the same way whenever we have this uh, transition dipole moment operator acting on an arbitrary operator this will be uh, some operate super operator curly uh, curly v acting on uh, on a we will of course get rid of the vector here uh, to simplify to simplify our uh, calculations because we have always this type of a stuff present so there is the field multiplied by a um, transition type of moment which is also a vector so we will define uh, define this transition dipole moment vector. We will split it into a scalar operator and a direction. This is a, unique, a, a unitary vector in a direction of the dipole moment. At the same time, we will have we will have e equals to its polarization vector e, and well, mu e is then 
n e that's some scalar product and um, u e and we will from now on we will disregard disregard this term put it let's say to one uh, and we will have to take into account later we will have we will take into account later when we study uh, the ensemble response functions we will figure out how uh, these terms can be accounted for uh, in uh, case that the molecules are distributed randomly in the sample and their directions are distributed uh, randomly uh, in the sample so now let us rewrite our equation of motion it's gonna be minus i l rho t plus i v now we forgot about this here acting on rho t and there is e t here so this is the equation from which we will start or not quite yet because what we want to do is also introduce um, for simplification, it's really a simplification here, uh, which costs us basically nothing. We introduce uh, interaction picture. So interaction picture, interaction picture. That means that we define new uh, operator rho i, which is basically the rho, but in front of the row there stays the evolution oper operator um, evolution operator given by this by the evolution with l alone uh, in minus time so it's sort of compensating for the free evolution of uh, of this uh, of this operator the u u is a solution of this equation up to here u is a solution of this equation so uh, ut formally looks like an exponential of minus i l t and that means when we take a derivative of ut we will get this minus i l um, in front of it so because we have that with uh, with minus time in here what happens in fact is or we can say this we can denote it like this with a dagger here similar to what we would use for a normal evolution operator and then we would get uh, this type of stuff so there would be plus i l the exponential well let's write simply the evolution evolution operator here and let's write it also in the right uh, right order for our case so this would be u dagger t l all right so having that we can ask ourselves well now what is the equation of motion in interaction picture what is the equation of motion for this and <coughs> you figure out of course that it's uh, well first you have to take a derivative of this u so that this is i u dagger t uh, l rho t plus there or minus actually we have now on we have to we have to continue with um, with taking a derivative of this thing which is which is up here which is the evolution uh, operator so there is minus i uh, in front of everything you have u dagger t and then you have l rho t and there are terms by which we continue i and so on I will take care of them on the next line and here we already see that these two terms are identical except of the minus so they can go away and let us continue this equation down here so uh, it should be uh, plus i this u dagger uh, t is still there and then there is v rho the original rho t but that that part can easily be written so that you have rho i there so it can be written as u t u dagger t rho t which is because this is one so well, basically there's no, no change but if you look at this part of it that's rho i 
t and you are left with this and this and this forming one uh, operator together so the equation of motion when we write it now in full is rho i t equal uh, i u dagger t v u t rho i t and we forgot here the electric field and here we don't forget it so that's the electric field this operator we will just denote this curly t uh, v with uh, with t so now we are ready now we are ready to do two things uh, we will first formally solve this equation and then return back to the um, Schrodinger picture and then we write down the polarization, how it looks like. We remind ourselves that this is our goal. This is our goal or here we can write it the same way due to the cyclic cyclic uh, property of the trace we can write it this way, this way too. So this is just a reminder of our, of our goal that's why we are looking for the solution for for rho t now um, so in the next step we need to solve formally uh, this equation I will make first step of it and the rest we leave for another for another video so d divided by dt well the other way let's let's do it right away we formally solve this equation up here by integrating it so rho i t is equal to rho i at some starting time z t0 plus i and now we integrate over the um, whole right hand side so there is v tau rho i tau E tau and repeating this several times we we can already envision that we that we will see a series of uh, of uh, contributions where rho and so far it's rho i but we will easily turn it into rho itself will look like rho zero untouched zero then there will be rho one which uh, depends linearly on e but there will also be terms rho two rho three etc and for a reason that uh, is discussed somewhere else we will be mostly interested in this uh, in this uh, third part the lowest non-trivial order of nonlinear spectroscopy for isotopic uh, uh, for for isotropically distributed uh, molecules so uh, see you at the next video